Hello everyone, Charmant Zine here. Okay, so today we're going to do a short video on how to make uh, a tree automation rule. And so what these rules allow us to do is based on what rules we put into the automation, uh, we can bunch up the devices onto trees. Now it can be based on many different things such as host name, device type, things like that. So the very first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a new tree. So this is a clean install of cacti. So I really only have the first default tree. So I'm going to create a tree uh, called Mancini. Okay, just to get things started. Okay, and then I will make sure to publish this tree. So it's all ready for use. Okay. So now that I have the tree, I want to automate it so that devices with the name Mancini will end up on this tree. Okay, So I have two devices named Mancini and I want automation to automatically put those uh, devices onto a tree. So I'm going to go over to tree rules, go over to automation, tree rules, and you'll see that there's two default um, tree rules. Uh, one for a new device, so uh, we're going to bunch up based on device, and one based on graph. Okay, you also have the option to start a blank one by the top right hand corner. So that's what we'll do, click add, and what name. So we'll just create a, um, a name for this rule. Okay, and this rule will apply to the Mancini tree. Okay, and I want to bunch it up based on device. And how do we want it? So do we want it based on the graph template or the data query index? So I'm just going to do the graph template and click create. Okay, so now we have it started here. And I want to know, uh, first of all, first thing uh, we have to do is enable the rule. So we want to be sure to enable this rule. Okay, so that uh, we don't forget later on. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, we want to tell the automation system how to find this device. So uh, object selection criteria. So we're going to click add again. And now how do we want to find our device? So we have various field names, some that come from SNMP and some that come uh, locally in the system. You have tons of different options. Um, but the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, SNMP uh, system name or we're going to do uh, by uh, description. Okay. So we'll do system name. Okay. And now we're going to do system name contains the word Mancini. Okay. And we'll save that. And let's test, let's test this out because I already have devices already named Mancini in the system. So top right hand corner, click show eligible objects. And you'll see that the, the rule has already matched these two. So I know that this will work. And so another thing you can do is if you're matching by host name, and you want to see if this works before running automation uh, through a network scan is just create manually create a device you can you can say uh, on uh, the host name that you're trying to match or right in this case it's anything that matches that has Mancini in the host name will show up now you can get really in depth with this so I can also say okay not only do I want to see something that says Mancini right but it must also um you know then we can also add you know it also must be um on site id right um site id contains or begins or matches right so not only do i want to create a, a tree if if i wanted to do this i'm not but if I wanted to create um, a tree for, say, my uh, Vancouver site, right? I can say, hey, this th this device also must be in the Vancouver office to end up on the Mancini Vancouver tree or something of the sort. So you can get really in depth 
uh, on that, and we can talk all day about all the vast uh, different options. So it's really uh, up to you to explore those options. But um, that's quickly how uh, this works. So now, let's say I wanted to run this, okay, against and have these devices end up on that tree. So I'm going to save this rule, and again, we enabled it. So if I go over to graphs, you'll see that currently there is no Mancini tree that's showing up because those devices haven't ended up on that tree. So what I'll do is hit devices. And because I don't have uh, you know such a small amount of devices, most of these are just test devices, I can select them all and run apply automation rules. And once I hit apply automation rules, if I go back over to graphs, you'll see that the Mancini tree is now uh, showing up and will uh, bunch up those devices. You can even have automation create graphs, uh, sorry, create trees for you. So automation tree rules, okay? And then you can actually have, uh, if I go back to Mancini here, if I so choose, I can actually have um, the automation create the tree uh, on on that for me, and so that's also really nice option. Um, you know, you can definitely use that, and it's the same same type of criteria. On okay, so if I have a device that has um, you know um, the Mancini name in it. I can have a tree that's created automatically for me if it doesn't exist, of course, um, with the name Mancini. So I hope you found that very helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment uh, in the description below. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you.